Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I would love to review this wig for you, which is called Bon Bon by Beltres in the color British Milk Tea. Now, if you'd like to know how long she is exactly, how the color is composed, what special features she has, how the cap looks from the inside, and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. So this cute style by Beltres is called bonbon or uh, bonbon if you pronounce it the French way. <laughs> it's a really cute, short, um, sassy, choppy cut uh, layered bob, I would say, a, a wavy bob with uh, razor cut ends, at least it looks that way. And I'm really surprised and would have never guessed that this is really such a cute style. You know, you can never go just by the manufacturer's stock photos, um, you always have to try the styles yourselves. And um, since this isn't a color I usually wear at all, you can probably guess that this wig does not belong to me. Um, it actually belongs to my friend and wig sister, Tina, who had bought it to try this color herself, since she didn't know the color either. And unfortunately, she decided that this isn't a good color for her, so she wants to sell this wig again. And uh, I asked her to send it to me first before she sells it, so I can try this color myself which I haven't seen in person before, just on pictures and videos. And I've been really curious about this very interesting color since it came out. And I'm really happy I get the chance to try it on, see how it looks on myself and show it to you. So Tina, if you're watching, thank you so much for lending it to me. I'm so happy and glad I get the chance. Now, like I said, I really wouldn't have ordered this style and I'm pleasantly surprised and now I'm thinking about getting it myself. <laughs> I think it's a really cute style. It's modern, edgy, very tousled, not polished and uh, it's really casual and fun and is so easy to wear. Now, the color British Milk Tea um, came out last year, if I remember correctly, in 2022. It was a new color for Beltres and it really fits um, that niche between brown, brunette and blonde. Um, it's something in between and that is exactly how Beltres describes this color. They say it's between a dark blonde and a light brown with the dark root and a blend of eight different tones of browns and blondes. Wow, there's a lot going on. And I'm quite glad they don't give us all those color codes. <laughs> I think that would be quite a task to name all the colors involved. But I must say, I really like this color. It's a very interesting color because it looks so differently in different lights. I've seen it on pictures where it looked very blonde and on other pictures it looked really dark. It, you know, in artificial light, it looks differently than in natural light and in sunlight, it looks uh, differently again. It looks like it's been toned with a violet toner. And I think the name of this color is so spot on because to me, it just looks like British milk tea, like a black tea with uh, milk in it. Um, before you stir around. Um, and also with this hue of violet, it just looks like British milk tea. <laughs> a very fitting name, I think. Now, the wig features a temple-to-temple -temple lace front that is not extended and a left side monofilament part. And of course, as always, I'm going to show you this from up close. And as you can see, um, that lace front is beautifully done as always, by Beltres. It's not too densely knotted and not too lightly. The only thing I never like is if they do these standard lace fronts that are just temple to temple and not extended. You can always spot uh, the edge here where the cap meets the lace and this never looks good. But uh, you know, if, uh, if you don't pull up the hair, you don't really see that. So I can live with it, but of course I prefer extended lace fronts and I'm really glad they are all coming out with extended lace fronts in their newer styles. Now the um, mono part is also really well done. It's not too densely knotted. You can really see through to my scalp just as we want to. And it's perfect right out of the box because this style is brand new. Um, like I said, um, it's just been tried on by Tina and now by me for this review. But other than that, uh, we haven't done anything to it. I just took it out of the box, gave it a good shake and put it on. That's, that's all I did. You can mess with it if you like 
or you can also leave it messy because I think that's really what makes the charm of this style. Now I will show you the length all around the screen so I won't have to bore you with the numbers and we can talk about Hermites next. Now, as you know, Beltres is known for using very little to sometimes even no Hermites at all. Um, in this case, or with the shorter and uh, especially the curly or wavy styles, they always need some Hermites to give this style some body and volume. But I was surprised to find out that I really can't feel any Hermites in the back at all, not even in the nape, where usually all the Hermites sits. There's none. On top, there is a little bit and also on the sides, you can feel a little permatees, but it's not the heavy pillowy kind. And this is also a low density style. So it's a really lightweight, airy and just comfortable to wear. It doesn't even feel like you have a wig on. Yeah, just easy to wear. <laughs> I can't say anything else, but it's easy to wear. Now, the fibers uh, of Bonbon, like all the styles from the Café collection by Batres, are made from their heat-defined synthetic, which, uh, in my opinion, are the best heat-defined fibers on the market. They are so smooth and feel so realistic, like real human hair. And of course, they also don't shine as much as the um, regular synthetic fibers. And you don't have to do anything. This is straight out of the box no dry shampoo used or anything. This is really great and I love the Beltres fibers. Now let me show you this cute style from all sides and after that of course also outside in natural daylight which will be interesting with this very special color. Isn't she cute? And you saw it, I shook my head, I looked down, back up, and it stays out of my face, which is so great and important to me. I hate those face fluffers that always tend to fall into your face and you have to get the hair out of your face all the time. This just doesn't happen with uh, this style. Of course, because of the length, it's uh, quite a short style, and because of the waves, which is like self-supporting. Um, so the hair doesn't move that much um, as if it were stick straight, for example. Uh, you know, those bobs, they always tend to move much more than a wavy style. So if you're looking for a very uncomplicated style that is, I can only say it again, so easy to wear <laughs> and fun to wear, you should consider this one. Now, when it comes to styling, I don't see myself doing a lot with a style like this. What I always love to do with my bobs and also with the wavy ones is to tuck one side behind my ear. And since this is so low density, you can see it stays behind my ear perfectly. And I think I would actually also wear it like this. I think it's really cute. I love those asymmetrical styles that are sleek on the one side and have some body and volume on the other side. Now, let's do the glasses test and of course that is no problem at all with uh, with uh, such a low density style and there's not really a lot of permatease so you still have enough room between the ears and the ear tabs to fit glasses all right now let's have a look at that beautiful color outside in natural daylight unfortunately the sun is already setting so i don't think i will be able to show it to you in direct sunlight but maybe i can get another shot tomorrow in the sun and i'll just edit this in and then i'll hopefully be able to show you the different looks of this color in the different light settings okay now let's go outside Isn't this just a beautiful and interesting color? Wouldn't you agree? 
How do you like this color? Do you have it? Do you want it? Have you considered it? <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to know. I must say I'm so pleasantly surprised that I can see myself wearing this color. I think it will be perfect for fall or even winter. Or it's a beautiful transition color if you want to go from blonde to brunette or the other way around if you're brunette and want to go lighter and go blonde. I think this is a perfect transition color. Now, last but not least, let's have a look at the cap from the inside. So here's the cap from the inside. Here's that lace front that is not extended and here's that seam which isn't really that nice, but you can disguise it quite well. Then that lace front seamlessly goes into that monofilament part, which is also quite wide, so you have uh, enough parting space. On the sides she has those felt-covered ear tabs with the metal stays inside. The rest of the cap is open wefted. She has a standard nape, not extended, and the typical for belt dress, the um, adjustable straps with those um, pull bra type adjusters. So it's not a very luxurious but nevertheless a well-made cap. Okay, that was my review of Bonbon. Bon. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos and there's a new one coming out each Friday at least. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will gladly reply. Now, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Since this definitely isn't a color I usually <laughs> um, brunette between br 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 <laughs> it's between um, a dark blonde and a light brown. Let me check that. Yes, it, this is also a low density style. <clears throat> Sorry, it's really, it's a, uh, it's really, it's really, it's. Really, it's It's, uh, yeah, like I said, low density and, uh, low density and, you know, uh, it, it's, um, it's rather, it's rather, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it looks, it looks really cute. It looks, it looks quite. Hmm. Now, if you'd like to see more of Beltress, why not check out this video or this video?